once again at lovely Burlington and then we got Ross next door this time we're gonna go inside Burlington first hopefully we can find some good stuff kind of chill not as busy but you know actually it is kind of busy you just see so many things you can't really tell who is who this jacket stood out from afar Nickelodeon jacket Red rats all over it let me know what y'all think of course it's Burlington Coat Factory so they got a lot of good jackets and coats but that's not what we're here for we are here to go check out these shoes and see if there's anything popping or worthwhile and uh of course of course if I see something I'm gonna pull it out and let you guys see flight net tubes look kind of dirty 49 bucks on that some more reacts 49 on those too let's just see if there's anything here as I'm looking on around I found these nice Nike flex swoosh hats 9.99 normally what 24 that's pretty dope so tell me what y'all think about this colorway overall the shoe is pretty cool looking I feel like it might have some more protection with this here uh, retail is 49 I don't know what do you guys think about that Swooping around, are these some of those uh, night joggers? Look like night joggers. Are they not night joggers? $30 only, some light on them. 3M popping. I don't think these are night joggers, but they're night jogger-like. No, they're Trek Run. That's Trek Run, that's what those are called. Saw these here last time before, I guess nobody's scooping them up. Their price is just crazy, 70 bucks. Pegasus is terrible, these, that's, that's crazy, bro. These are dope, that colorway is nice, but that price point is just ridiculous, bro. A6 in the building, Habita, Keen. I feel like there will be some definite some resale with this, right? Keen is really good. I don't see no $49. This Burlington is kind of taxing. This Burlington is kind of taxing. We got some new balances here. Not too bad. Adidas. Nothing really standing out so far though, man. Some big old alpha, alpha dunks. White and blue colorway. Never really seen that. They're going for What's the retail tag on these things? 69 bucks, size 16, though. So nobody I know. Well, I know one person, but I'm not copping those. Let's see if there's anything else worth mentioning. Nike Free Run. $34. Oh, they're dirty, though. What's going on with that, bro? Got some night joggers here. Some more night joggers. Color combination, not too bad. Uh, price point is definitely $29. That's not too bad on those. Not really feeling them myself. Got these track cleats, got some more ASICs, which we saw last time. This colorway is pretty dope too, but I think that price point, drum roll please, 44 bucks. Is that a good price for these or not? I don't know what they actually retail for. Suggested retail is $79. ASICs always go, you know, pretty good. Steve Madden's with some 3M on it. That's kind of different. Cleats, I stepped out the cleat game. I know I never really mentioned that, but uh, I mean, I still have a few cleats that will do pretty good, but as far as really trying to flip cleats for me, I don't know if I'm really gonna do that too much. Once I get rid of all the cleats I have, we'll go from there. I did get them for like two, three dollars, so I didn't really lose, but I just got a lot of them and they haven't really moved. And you know, with COVID and everything, a lot of the outdoor activities have been shut down. So hopefully it'll pick up at some point, but without further ado, let's get back to these shoes, you dig? And as I say that, they still have these on deck, which were here last time. 44 bucks. PG3 TB colorway, that, that uh, court purple and white with the black. I think it's pretty dope. I'm not sure if anybody likes these size 14. They are snug, so if you're size 13, that might be something you want. Maybe not the first time. I feel like these were some Brooks, but I don't think they are. Colorway is kind of cool. Uh, 24 bucks on those. Fortunately, man, these are the best shoes I've found. And these were here both for my last trip now. I did get here maybe four hours after they opened. So it's possible that the good stuff has already been snatched up because there have been some places that have been missing. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the Viermo 14s and these Adidas, pretty dope. But let's go ahead and see what's in the kids section. Men's section was kind of dry. Men's section was kind of dry. I'm gonna go over and check out the kids really quick. Let me check out the pets again and then head on over to Ross. Black shorts. 
I'm not sure what size this is. Actually, it says on the back, these are like uh, size 40 golf shorts. Pretty dope. I think they're like 16 bucks and their retail tag is 65. That's lit right there. So it wasn't a whole lot of stuff there, but we're gonna go ahead into Ross and see what's up. You know, mainly talking about shoes, not many shoes there. I did leave for some stuff, but uh, let's go ahead and check in here and see what's going on. Right here at Ross is pretty dope. Gives me Florida Gator vibes all day. $80 to retail on this tag. I only have it here for 19 bucks. Size small. I feel like this is a good winner, but uh, unfortunately it's not coming up. But uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about these? Pretty dope. For all those uh, Odell Beckham Jr. fans out there, they got you a Odell Beckham Jr. jersey. This is a, what, Fanatics or something? NFLPA Players Association. Only 12 bucks, man. Odell Beckham fans, not myself, but maybe you might like that. Nike T, $26 for 12 That's not too good. Let's go ahead and see if we see something in the shoes. Another Odell Beckham Jr. So, went it by Ross real quick. I was on the phone, so I was doing it separately. These Adidas are pretty dope. $23 as opposed to $100. Not keeping those. Then these Adidas, we saw these at Burlington in the sky blue colorway just a few minutes ago. These are pretty dope. If you guys have any information on these, let me know. Because these uh, do look pretty cool. 30 bucks on these. I'm not mad at these at all. Size, what's these, nine? Top pass, fire, or trash. Some Hirachis now. These Hirachis are pretty dope for $32 on the women's side. Got the orange and the navy blue. Not mad at this colorway. $35 on Hirachis. You can't go wrong with some Hirachis, of course, right? Some more stuff down here. We went through these Adidas boosts, uh, these Adidas bounce. Now they're on clearance for 27. We got some uh, pure boost. Colorway is not too crazy, $27. Also, these Pumas, not so much. Nike Free Run. These are all the things I found while I was running around. These Chucks, now we talked about Chucks before, kind of have like this fly knit material on them. I've never really seen Chucks with fly knit material. $29 compared to 55 Then we got some more Chucks down here with the Converse all around at 32 bucks on these. And then we got some Puma RXs, 26 bucks on these, not really feeling them. Let me know out of these three, out of these shoes in this basket, if any of them you would take home. I'm not, but these kind of caught my eye and I wanted to get your opinion on them. You can see they got another colorway of the Don Issue 2s. These are 34 bucks. Not really a fan of Don Issue 2s, but maybe you guys might be. And this one is actually on the market right now for like $120, $130. What do you guys think about those in the comment section below? Then we got some Fly Knit Reacts here too. $34 on that. That orange colorway stands out a lot. But, you know, those two are pretty cool finds. Nothing too crazy at this location. Maybe people already came through and ripped through everything that's here. You dig? We got Converse off the wall. Vans or Vans off the wall. By the way, it's crazy. 32 bucks. I feel like these might have a little something to them. Marquee Boost, the low colorway, that tan thing. Not too much, though. Not too much. You know what I'm saying? I wish there was more. Now, these are dope. I've seen these in another colorway before. Actually, this is something else. I thought this was a different shoe. Any 3M on here? A little bit on the Nike swooshes. Very colorful. The heel, too. What do you guys rate these? You know what I mean? It's Adidas. Not too crazy. Price is $24. You can't really go wrong with that, though. So I came by Shoe City. And Shoe City normally doesn't have anything for the average person. But they got a few different things here. Cortez. You got the all-white Cortez with the leather. Then you got the one with the uh, suede and, like, a nylon. Pretty dope. $74 is the price on them. $25 for the slides. They got a good selection of just off-brand stuff here. Like, not off-brand, like, real brands. But nothing super popular. You know what I mean? If you're looking for certain shoes, I can find them here too. Just depends on what you're looking for. Like I said, nothing too hype. This might be the most hype shoe that you'll see here. The Turners, from what I remember with Jordans. You know what I'm saying? And Nikes, they just got like Chucks and Reacts, different things like that. But I feel like you guys might like that too. Not everybody wants the high-end stuff or the super high stuff. That's the whole point of what I do. So you can find all different type of shoes at all different type of locations. You feel me? So if you guys see any type of shoe or something else that hasn't been talked about much on the channel, this colorway looks pretty dope. Got the suede on there. I'm not mad at those Reeboks right there. Reebok Classics, pretty dope. 
But yeah, if you guys see anything else besides the main stuff and foot lockers and stuff like that, don't hesitate to hit me up about that too either, you dig? So if you enjoyed that video, I need to know in the comment section below. Smash the like button. Make sure you leave comments. Subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new. And make sure you share the video with your friends and family so they can come on over here and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and DM me on in the comment section or in IG. Without further ado, man, I'm about to get out of here. Deuces.